Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tour review are going to be a couple of products by Santronics. Uh, so full disclosure, they did reach out to me. They watched my review for the 3115 non-contact voltage tester, which has become my favorite one. I carry that in my MP2 all the time. Well, they reached out to me and said that they'd like to send me their other model. This is the ultimate model or the model 3000 on the non-contact voltage. So this is an AC sensor. One difference mainly between it and the 3115 version over there. And then they also went ahead and sent me out their DC detector. This is the Santronics, and the model number on this is 3315. So I'm going to go over both of these. I'm just going to show you briefly the DC detector and what it does, and you can you know if it's a right fit for you or not. It's not something that I will typically use in my line of work. It's kind of a garage tool working on my truck or those kinds of things. Uh, but then I'm going to get into the Santronics, the 3000 Ultimate, and let you see the difference between it and... And the 3115, what's the main difference of that? And then I'll also show it to you in comparison to some of the other non-contact voltage testers that I have. But let's go ahead and jump into the DC model, and then we'll hit that model 3000. So starting out with this one here, again, this is the Santronics, and it is model number 3315. And again, you can see DC detector. That's all that this one's for, but it doesn't take any, you know, batteries. It's always on type of thing, those kinds of things that go along with that. I couldn't find this very many places. I found it on cableorganizer.com for $36.25, and don't let that little thing, it says AC-DC detectors, but it's because they've got all their Santronics inside of a, like, drop-down list, so you can pick the AC version or this DC version but this again is only for DC uh, if you look at the packaging here again made in the USA detects 6 to 50 volts DC sound and bright red glow indicates voltage it does come with the voltage detector itself it comes with two of these tips to put over your stainless steel tip and that's to penetrate that wire so you can check that out and on the other end of this and I measured this out and it's really close to seven foot from the tip of the unit here to where your ground clamp is and you've got this ground clamp uh, it's kind of sheathed inside of i don't know if i can get that pushed out a whole awful lot uh, but you can see and you just press in and out here allows you to clamp on the ground and then again you can go around and touch wires with this as far as bare wires and get the kind of detection or you can penetrate the insulation with this and test for that wire for dc voltage as well let me show you the back of the package just to give you all the specs that are on it again it says operate connect clip to system ground be certain in a good ground use the tip to make contact with the conductor wire or ter terminal test point which is what i'm going to show you has a buzzer led light that says will never burn out large clip sharp tip uh, all the things the tip is stainless steel uh, and its test lead wire is 20 gauge heat resistant so again there's the back of the package you can read the rest of it if you want to i'm going to show you here i'm taking this clip clipping it on the ground underneath my dash or clipping onto some metal anyways and then i'm testing it on some of those pin uh, points on the on my truck there and you can see the voltage indicator light coming on and then also the sound showing up so in my testing did it work absolutely it did the light was plenty bright for me to be able to see it and then also that sound was definitely loud enough for me to be able to hear it so again I, this isn't something i'm going to use in my work now if you're a mechanic or something like that you know being able to have this doesn't take any kind of batteries or anything like that and you can just clip this to ground you got seven foot worth of cable to go around and check things for dc voltage this might be a good fit for you so they sent it to me i'm just letting you know that it's out there but now let's go ahead and talk about the other model the sandtronics and again this is the ultimate model 3000 sensor so this one is for ac voltage i'll show you all the things on the packaging on this again made in the usa two AAA alkaline batteries were included that's what it takes will not react to static electricity it has sound and a bright red glow indicates ac voltage that's the real difference between this one and the model that's the 3115 again i've been carrying this one in my mp2x ever since i got it and that's the main pouch that i carry around when i'm doing electrical work so the fact that this is in there that to me is saying at least i'm going to tell you this is the one that i prefer to use there's a reason why it's in there and it's because it's always on you know i don't have to sit there and turn a button on and off all those kinds of things and i really like the sensitivity of it that's what i like mostly about it and again you can see no switch uh, required it's always ready and i'll put the back of the package up here i'm not going to read all those types of things you can read those if you want to if you want to zoom in maybe you can do that as well uh, in order to change the batteries too just to show you that real fast before i get into it there's a little clip right here you can take a flathead screwdriver pop that up and then you just pull this end out and then down inside of there are the two AAA batteries. So really easy to change those batteries in and out. It did come with Energizer batteries as well. 
clip that back in and again to turn this one on you don't have to do anything that's the bonus of it and it's always on but the big difference between this one and the Santronics 3115 is the size. It's a little bit beefier, but not by much. It's mostly just because this one's round, but this one doesn't have sound and this one does. So ultimately that's the biggest difference between this one. Now this one's gonna run you $20 on Amazon. Whenever I looked it up, that's what it is right now currently versus the 3115 AC is 1750. So that's the two price ranges on this. And I think that's another thing that kind of puts these, I'll just tell you this one's worked extremely well for me and for the price. Whenever you get into the price of some of these others, when we talk about it, I'll, I'll show you what the prices of those are as we're testing them. I'm showing you the difference. You know, pretty good bang for your buck with these. But let's go ahead and put it to the test and see what we think about it compared to these other non-contact voltage testers. And then again, you can make the decision for yourself if either one of these or one of those is the right fit for you. So when we start comparing these, to me, the Santronics is the far superior one when it comes to sensitivity, other than maybe you got the Sperry one here that has adjustable sensitivity. You can kind of dial it in, but there's a downside to this one. There's downsides to all of them. There's upsides to all of them. That's what I'm going to kind of show you with this one. So I'm going to show you the 3115. Again, I've got a video for this one where I compare it to all these other ones as well, if you want to check that out. In fact, I'm not even going to show you a couple of the ones that I showed in that video. I've got a, a fluke version here and then also a milwaukee that you can't even buy anymore so i'm not even going to show you those just to save time so i'm going to show you both santronics versions the ultimate 3000 and the 3115 also the climb this one is the ncvt 5a this one's going to run you 30 dollars. so price wise this one's nearly you know close to getting double of that of the both of the santronics again 1750 for the 3115 and then $20 for that 3000 version. Then I'm going to also compare it to the one that I carry in my bag most of the time. This is the Fluke 1ACA2. I've mentioned this several different times. I've probably ran these longer than any other non-contact voltage tester. I've got four or five of these. You know, I've got them in different bags. I've got them laying in my house, out here in my garage. One benefit to this one is you can have sound or not have sound. It's kind of a point that, you know, a decision that you get to make with this one. That's one thing that I kind of like about this one. But again, is the sensitivity as good as the Santronics? We'll see. And then also the Sperry. This one I've also got a video for. This one's the VD6505. I think this one's going to run you $25. So again, it's a little bit more expensive. And this one has... A sensitivity adjustment so you can kind of decide what kind of sensitivity you want but this one has a downside too about pushing this you have to push that button in and hold it the whole time you use it so again i'll show you the advantages disadvantages of all these uh, i don't think i mentioned the price on the fluke it runs you about 35 dollars. so again almost nearly double of that of both of the santronics but let's go ahead and i'll show you all these so again on my setup here this black wire here hot all the time blue and black are hot and then the white in the middle is not i've got that set up to kind of show you the sensitivity difference whenever i get into there can we pick out the white wire without showing that it's hot uh whenever it's this close to the blue and the black wire so starting out with the climb one disadvantage compared to the santronic since that's what this video is about is i do have to press the button i've got to turn it on got to select ac voltage those kinds of things and then when we compare it to sensitivity so this one has the sound this one's got the light same type of thing as the model 3000 sensitivity wise we come in to check and you're going to see i'm already getting a sound right here i'm not even close to any of the wires i'm probably you know several inches away from those so whenever i'm using this non-contact voltage tester again depends on what you're going to use it for right now i couldn't tell you which of these wires is hot and which one's not i have to assume that they all are with this tester because the sensitivity is just you know way too you know not high enough or way too low whichever way you want to look at it it basically finds the power you know too quickly in my opinion to make it really useful in any way so that's the biggest downside to this one in my opinion and i don't use it also because the size you compare that to the uh 3115 as far as the thickness of it this one doesn't fit in your pouch pockets very well on your tool bags another reason why i don't use it versus also the 3000 model it's just a lot slimmer so if i take this fluke out of this pouch you know you can see how easy that this one fits in and out of there very simply uh, you get into the Klein, it will go but i've got a push i've also got a pull i get up here to this little lip right here it doesn't want to come out that's why i've never carried these in my bag i just don't care for them now it is nice that this one's dual voltage i guess so that's one plus for that one uh, next up let's talk about 
the fluke so the fluke again the advantage to this one size wise very similar to that of that 3000 model again it fits in and out of your bag pretty decent it does have that little lip right there that catches where the sandtronics does not so that is a little bit i mean that just slides in and out a little bit easier but one advantage to this fluke one compared to all of them is i can press and hold this button down you can see where i held it long enough to where i'm getting this blink versus i can also press and hold that button and let go of it and you heard that little click so now i've got the light and sound or i've got just the light so with this model here i can choose do i want sound do i not want sound now what about sensitivity as i'm coming in you can see i'm out here in the middle again i'm still getting the same thing kind of as the klein i come to the blue wire i've got power i try to get into that white wire but it's showing i've got power on that white wire even though i don't same thing on the black so again, the sensitivity is not the same on this. So even though I can select, do I want sound? Do I not want sound? The sensitivity still a little bit la or a little bit, you know, too sensitive in my opinion to be able to use it in the way that you can use these Santronics. Again, that works fine. It doesn't matter that it's overly sensitive. If you're just wanting to know, do I have power in this general area for safety reasons or things like that? But when you're diagnosing stuff, sometimes you need a little bit better sensitivity. So with the Sperry here, you can see I can turn the sensitivity dial. I can turn it up. I press this. I'm all the way out here, and I'm picking up voltage. So that's kind of the same as the other. But I can also dial that down to where now I come in here, and unless I'm right on that black wire, I'm not getting a reading. Same thing, I can go to blue. My sensitivity is there. White. I'm not having nothing. Black. But really, it's almost a little bit too not enough sensitivity so i'm gonna crank it up just a little now i'm getting that the white i'm not getting it i'm getting it a little bit right in there again it's a matter of you can dial it to where right now the white is nothing which is what it truly is i can move over to the blue i've got uh, power black got power but the downside to this one is it is always on i guess in a way i don't have a button that i have to turn it on and leave it on but there's a button that i have to press the entire time that i'm using it so it's not really always on uh, i have to press and hold this because if i'm not pressing that in you know it's not working it's not on i have to press this in so that's the one downside to the sperry non-contact voltage tester again compared to the santronics versions because these are always on uh, they're very slim in profile they're super sensitive and then they also have zero buttons that I have to push to turn them on, push to use them. I mean, I just grab them and start doing it. So sensitivity-wise, again, check out this Santronics 3115. You can see black wire there. Hopefully you can see that light come on. I'm going to go blue wire. Light's coming on. I'm going to go white wire. No light right there. I can even move up here white wire close. I'm as close to the blue wire as I can get with this white wire. But if I move on over to the blue, you can see that light come on over the black light come on. Again, I can go all the way down that white wire, no light. And both of these also will fit inside this tamper resistant. Uh, you won't be able to see that light right there, but they both fit. They both have the type of end on them that fit in that as well. So again, sensitivity on this one. This is why this is my number one go-to. This is why it stays in my MP2X. I absolutely love that. But as you could tell there, there was no sound. So we get into the 3000 model. Again, this one's always on as well. But the big difference is you can see the little speaker there. You're going to have some sound with this one. So as I come in, sensitivity-wise, how close do I get to that black one? You can see I'm there. And then as I get in there and I touch it, you can hear that beeping. It's not an automatic beep. It's not near as fast a beep as some of the other ones. It takes a split second for it to start beeping. And I don't know if that's a plus or a minus. It could be a plus because maybe you're trying to find the wire and you don't want it making noise until you actually touch it. So it gives you a split second before that sound starts. But you can see the black wire there. I've got sound. I've got light. Going over here to the blue. Sound and light. Go to the black. Sound and light. Go to the white in the middle. Again, I'm nothing. So that's the sensitivity. Even up here, I'm talking we're within a quarter inch to a half inch from that blue and the black wire. I can run this all the way down this white. 
I'm not getting any kind of a reading. Move over towards the black, I get one. Move over towards the blue, I get one. Again, sensitivity is the key with these Santronics. That's what makes them, you know, some of my favorite ones right now by far as I think about all the non-contact voltage testers that I've used. But yeah, guys, those are the two testers that Santronic sent me out, so I do appreciate it. I want to make sure and thank them for that. Again, the DC Model 3315, going to run you somewhere around that $36 range. A little bit harder to find, but if, if you're in automotive or if you're in some kind of industrial setting where you do a lot of DC voltage or something like that, maybe that's a really good tool, something that would be useful to you. Or again, maybe the Model 3000, that Ultimate 3000. I really like it. I also like that 3115. It's just a matter of of do you want sound or not sound because it doesn't have the option you know to turn off the sound on this one so you either have it or you don't that's the two models there uh the fluke might do both but again you can almost buy both of these for the same price as that one fluke so you know again i really like the sensitivity on these I like the price point on them. I like that they're always on, those kinds of things like that. But let me know in the comments below if you've been using either one of these, what you think about them, what you've been using them on. Let us know that in the comments down below as well. Again, I hope this video helps you make the decision if either one of these are the right fit for you or maybe one of the other ones are. Again, you would know the answer to that more than me. But as always, I hope it was helpful in some way. Stay safe. Have a blessed day. See you on the next video.